What's up everybody kid and right here. So yeah guys Huawei at IFA 2019 has launched the world's first 5G integrated chipset the Karen 990. So yeah this is indeed the latest Karen processor from Huawei and comparing this new chipset with the old Karen 980 this chipset ensures better performance aside from being better though it has built in 5G and according to Huawei it delivers 10% higher single core and 9% higher multi-core performance than the Snapdragon 855. With that being said, after introducing this chipset to the public, Huawei showcased the best feature of the Huawei's Mate 30 Pro called a real-time video multi-instant segmentation. So what it does is, the user can replace the people, object and background scenery from a real-time video. At the same time, it allows removing single or multi-objects, reorganizing them, increase and decrease object sizes, adding background blurs and more all in the real time yes guys this chipset is so powerful that it can do all that in real time we could call it a revolution in the video editing and surely a feature must try in the mate 30 series in this official video Huawei is showing this feature is working perfectly we don't know how this feature will actually work in the real life We have seen the pictures of the Mate 30 Pro screen protector but now the Mate 30 Pro has recently appeared in a video revealing waterfall display, a notch which includes three camera lenses cutouts and few other cutouts for sensor related to the face security. Although the video has a comparison with other curved glass and shows the difference in curve angles between the Huawei's Mate 30 Pro and the other competitors. Also, by judging the video, the size of the display is expected to be around 6.6 .6 inches to 6.8 inches. Previously, we hear that only the Huawei's Mate 30 family is not getting the built-in Google applications. But now, Huawei will not be able to ship either the Mate 30 or the Mate 30 Pro or the Huawei's Mate X smartphone with any Google apps and services. That means no Google Play Store or pre-installed Google Chrome, Gmail, YouTube, Maps and so on. This is a big loss though, but hope for the best. So yeah guys, what do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video consider subscribing thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace out